Hi guys, welcome to Excel and Excel. So in a previous video, na pag-usapan natin how to create yung inventory monitoring sa inyong report when combining different files. So in in this demonstration, we have yung customer master, items master, price master, and then you have your purchase list and sales list. Now without combining all those data in one file, nakalink na silang lahat dito sa ating uh, Power Pivot. So I'll show you yung relationship natin. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I suggest that you see that you, you check that out first before going here. Ayan. So, ito na yung ating diagram view. Ayan yung ating limang files basically na may, limang, may mga limang tables na yan. And ito na yung kanilang relationships. So, what we need to do here is to build yung iba pang probably useful na reports when we are monitoring our performance no, sa ating buy and sell. Okay? So, we will create or we will build another sheet. So, kanina may inventory na tayo. Pag-usapan naman natin yung customers natin. So, if I go to pivot table here. Ayan, new worksheet ulit. So, gusto ko malaman yung sales ko per, per city. I will just go to rows. Lagay ko yung city dyan. And, um, I'll go to my sales. And, yung ating quantity per, um, per city. So, kung 90 yung ating na sold, ito yung kanyang breakdown. So, you can see here, yeah, 90 yung quantity sold, sabi niya, per city. 90 nga naman yung quantity sold. You can see here as well dun sa ating um, file. Okay? So, I can do this. Now, if I want to see yung magkano yung peso amount ng mga sales natin, it's not as easy as putting yung ating sales price dito. Kasi if I put my sales price here and I have the sum of sales price, masyado siyang maliit. Nakita niyo 2,714. That is because yung ating raw na data, if I go to our power pivot, ayan, yung sales price na column na ito is not nakamultiply sa quantity. Sales price pa lang siya, di ba? So that is because... Um, Ito yung price per piece. Wala pa tayo talagang column na nag-show yun. Now, you can go two ways. Pwede ka magdagdag ng, magdagdag ng measure, katulad nung ginawa natin before. Or, you can add it here. So, pwede tayo magdagdag dito. Equals multiply by quantity. If I click enter. So, this is the total sales price. So this time, meron tayong mas accurate na representation. If I go back to our pivot table, well, tanggalin natin itong sales price kasi hindi natin kailangan yan. Ang kailangan natin ay total sales. Ayan. So tama na yung ating value. Now, i-rename natin to At ayusin natin siya. Mount sold. Gawin natin siyang peso. So sa currency, gawin natin siyang ganyan. Click OK. Ayan. So peso value na siya. So now, kung gusto natin ipakita yung markup lang, there are several ways to do that, pero this is one way to do it. You can go to your power pivot. And now that we have their total sales, kunin natin yung cost per sale. So, lalagay ko dito yung quantity multiplied by the purchase price. So, you will get the quantity. And then multiply it by the related table na merong purchase price. Yan. So you can see here, yung ating quantity ay multiply niya based dun sa ating purchase price. And I can rename this to cost of sale. And because we have that already, we can add the measure about the markup. So if I go to our pivot, now, we need to combine ulit. Diba? Kukunin naman natin yung kanina yung dito sa inventory. Diba? So, ganun. Kukunin naman natin yung difference ng amount sold sa cost of sale. So, we'll do the same thing. Sales. Total sales. And the cost of sale. Okay. Yeah. So, now we have our markup. So, rename natin siya ulit. And E... Format natin siya. Click OK. And ayan na. So not only do we have yung breakdown per city, we have the quantity sold, the amount sold, and kung ano yung markup natin. All without changing yung ating source files. Now, again, I've demonstrated in the previous video, you can also 
refresh every time meron tayong additional purchase purchase or sa sale and even um, customer changes. So, if I go to customer master at yung isang nating customer na dating QC ay gawin natin siyang uh, gawin natin siyang Pasig City. Yan. If I save this and close it and I refresh this it will show that customer update. So, all in the background, nakalatag na siyang lahat. And, the good thing about this is I can also create a chart. So, if I go to my pivot table and insert a chart, click lang natin pivot chart, and I want to show, for example, kung saan gagaling region yung ating sales. If I click OK, you can see, ayan na yung ating quantity sold. And you can see na yung Quezon City represents most ng ating sales. Ba? So, without um, combining all the files, without having to um, update palagi, we can create or generate yung ating sales monitoring reports all using Power Pivot. So, I hope this gets you excited to explore this and maybe learn more about it. Let me know sa comment section kung may mga specific questions or any specific things you want to discuss in the future. Um, I'll try to respond and um, line it up sa ating list of lessons. So, again, I'm Coach Abby. Thank you for joining us and uh, I hope you learned something new. Uh, welcome sa ating small community of learners. And as we always say, we can't be the best at everything. Sometimes you can't even be the best at one thing, but you can always try to be a better version of yourself. Be better today than you were yesterday. Thank you. God bless. Ingat palagi. See you. Bye-bye.